In this video, we're going to cover mini sessions in Check Cherry. So, mini sessions are popular with portrait photographers. It's a group of short time slots, and this feature makes the scheduling process easy for both you and your clients. Mini sessions just have one date, one location. However, they do have back to back short time slots, and it's a limited offering, so you're going to have to create a new mini session and specify the date and location manually. Then you'll have your customers pick a time slot and book. So let's take a look at how the client will experience booking a mini session with you. Okay, so I'm at a mini session booking page for the pumpkin patch mini sessions. Um, and you'll notice it has a date here and also uh, how much per session. And you'll basically send somebody a link um, and they can get to this page and review the details. So it also have a location where the mini session is happening and any details, um, you can include a description, images uh, related to the mini sessions. And below here, you'll see I have available time slots. And in fact, uh, this shows all time slots and we cross out the ones which have been already booked and they can pick a slot that is available by simply clicking it. So let's say I take the 130 slot. I'm going to come to a page to confirm my slot and secure it with a payment. And you'll notice this countdown timer here. Um, we hold the slot for five minutes and that helps um, put some pressure on the person to finalize the booking. Um, and it also helps avoid uh, things like double bookings or bad customer experiences if they go grab their credit card and come back and make an order and somebody else has taken it for example um, and so here are the order details um, and i go down and i can pick the deposit or the full amount i type in my name my email phone enter my card and i scroll down and i'll see the terms and conditions and then i will sign and say, yep, I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and click reserve slot. So once that's done, it'll be on your calendar and unavailable for somebody else to book. Okay, so let's take a look at how we create a new mini session. I'm logged into my Check Cherry account and in the top right, you'll see create new. So if I click that, I'm gonna create a new mini session. And this is going to take me to a page where I have several options, uh, the name of the mini session. So maybe I want fall minis, um, a description. And so this is just going to give the client an idea of what they're going to get from the mini session. You can also add images here. Um, there's a status. So most of the time it's going to be public. There also is a private and disabled status. Um, and then down here we, set the date, the price, and so on. So let's let's set the date for, oh, November 14th. We'll start it at uh, 10 a.m. and end it at 4.30 p.m. Sounds good. Each slot, let's say 30 minutes, um, no time between slots. You can certainly put a buffer in here um, and it's going to be $150 and I want a $50 deposit. And so here we can choose to add sales tax or not. Um, and then the location of the shoot. So I'm just gonna leave this as is. And once I click save, Check Cherry is automatically going to figure out uh, how many slots there are and so on. So let's do that. Okay, so my mini session has been created. And if I go to the overview page, um, you'll see I've got some details, the address, the name, um, the slots are down here. Of course, they're all available. Okay, let's talk about promoting your mini session. Now, obviously you wanna get the word out and let people know that you're available to be booked on a specific day and there are limited time slots. Um, so the link right here, this booking page, this is what your clients will see. Um, we're logged in right now, but um, you'll see the time slots down here. And um, I could simply copy in this link up here. I'm going to show my toolbar real quick. I just copy and paste that link. 
and send it out on social media and people with that link will be able to uh, see your mini session and and book you um, now that's one way to do it we also under uh, manage website integration at the very bottom down here we have mini sessions where you can get the code so you can link to specific uh, mini sessions or all of your mini sessions and you might want to link to all your mini sessions. Like let's say you what you're doing, uh, you know, a Friday and Saturday mini sessions, two different locations, different time slots. Um, you can grab that link, and I'll do that, and uh, go there. And here are all of my public mini sessions available right now. Um, and so it looks like there's three there. Um, you can also just get the link for one of them. Um, so completely up to you. Okay, let's talk about managing your mini sessions. So if you go to manage uh, bookings, uh, mini sessions are actually going to show up here and you'll see this uh, blue mini uh, indicator. You can also uh, say, hey, I only want to see mini sessions by unchecking things uh, in Check Cherry. And so it'll show you what slots are available and not um, just give you an overview. And here's one that I have some slots booked if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. That's going to take me back to that overview page. And from the overview page, um, there are some things to consider, like the settings um, can be changed at any time. You can edit um, the description and so on, add something. Um, you can override the default terms for your mini sessions. Um, and so maybe for some reason you're doing a corporate gig or something like that, and people need to book small time slots. Certainly you could uh, make an adjustment here. Um, each mini session also has a messages tab where all the emails that get sent out uh, related to a mini session, thanks for your payment, booking confirmations, by the way, you can customize all that stuff under our automated messages. You can send text reminders, all kinds of great stuff. Um, that'll all show up um, in messages. You can also send all of the people that have booked with you a email and perhaps just a last minute change or something of that nature, um, that's an option. And so also uh, when I go down to the slots, you'll see it tells me if something's been booked or not. And so I can manage and I can reschedule or change times. So this is pretty common, but I can also show uh, the actual booking. And one thing to keep in mind is once a mini session slot is booked, this just becomes a regular booking in Check Cherry. So if you're doing regular sessions with us or other bookings, this is gonna feel very familiar. Um, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time covering it, but you can do all kinds of stuff. And we have other videos on managing bookings. Um, but let's reschedule. So uh, let's say James calls me up and he wants a different time slot. So I can reschedule. And I can choose an existing slot to reschedule. Um, for a different session. So again, if you're doing Friday, Saturday, something like that, you might want to pop them to another day. Or for the current session, um, see it says here, he's, this is the current session, this is already booked. Say, oh, you know what, 2.30 works. Okay, let's do 2.30, James, and I'm gonna save you. And all of a sudden now, James is um, at our 2.30 slot. So if I wanna look at the mini session itself, I would go back to bookings, scroll down, um, and there James is. Um, at a different slot. Okay, and now down here, um, you'll see James set a different slot. Now, also, somebody might cancel, and if that happens, um, you can down here cancel the booking um, and permanently delete it as well. So those are both options down there. Okay, I just want to add one more thing to this video, and it's related to the automated messaging both email and text for your mini sessions. And we have several videos on automated messages. You'll find them uh, under automated messages. And when it comes to mini sessions, if you want a message to be sent based on a mini session, just go there, click edit, and you'll see this mini session tab. And you would say, yep, I wanted this to go to all my mini sessions. You know, potentially you would just want a, an automated message to go to one mini session, but I think most people are going to select all um, and then down and save. So any mini session that is booked, this automated message will now uh, be sent out. 
And that's it for automated messages. I hope you enjoy the feature and found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.